Hey everybody, Zach here, and I wanna talk about the most underrated feature on the Kemper Profiler. Doesn't matter if you're using the head, the rack, the stage, or the player. Let's dive in. Now, first off, I'm gonna be using Rig Manager. That way we've got a uniform display no matter what unit you are on. And I'm always baffled by the amount of people that don't start here when they're adjusting their profiles. And the first area is gonna be the definition and the clarity controls within the amp section. So I've got a performance all created here. And what you're gonna find for any of your profiles on the Kemper is that Kemper will automatically assign a definition value for that profile when it was profiled. In this case though, we may find that we want to add a little bit more to that profile depending on our guitar's pickups or its overall voice. Now I know that this Novo is pretty dark, but we'll talk about kind of some general rules of thumb and then how we can adjust for each specific guitar moving forward. Now we'll be looking at a few different types of amps from Alter Ampworks, which if you've never used their stuff, they are phenomenal. Um, honestly, they are probably some of the best straight out of the box profiles I've ever heard. So check those out in the description down below. Use my coupon code ZachBros20 for 20% off your order. All right, now let's take a listen to what this profile sounds without any tweaking. Now honestly, that sounds pretty good, but let me just show you how big of a difference it can make when we go from playing a single coil that are dark to my Jennings, which has brighter humbuckers. Back to my Novo. Hopefully you can hear that difference, but there is definitely going to be a different way that pickups interact with this specific profile. So, where do we start? Well, in this case, I recommend starting with the definition. And if you're going to be playing through humbuckers, typically you wanna add more definition versus if you're playing through a single coil, you're gonna to wanna to have less. In this case, because this is already a little dark, I'm gonna just add a tiny bit of definition. It's probably not gonna make a massive difference, but it's going to allow the characteristics of this specific preamp to push through just a little bit more. Let's take a listen. Now, once we've got the definition dialed in where we want, that's where we wanna go in and adjust the clarity. Now, in my opinion, this is gonna make the biggest difference for this profile, and Kemper describes the clarity section as a way to adjust the distortion within the middle frequencies. This specific profile doesn't have any clarity value assigned to it, and so I'm probably going to up it quite a bit to around two or three. Let's hear what that sounds like with that added clarity. Without. Putting that back in. And we can immediately hear how much of a difference that makes in those middle frequencies, especially when it comes to how much this profile breaks up with these pickups. Now, once again, with the definition and the clarity, I typically don't think we need to make huge sweeping adjustments and it largely depends on the pickups you're playing and the specific profile you're playing. So let's dive into maybe a Fender style amp and see how that sounds in comparison. Okay, so this is another profile by Alter Ampworks. It is a Tyler PT14, which is gonna be more like a Fender Princeton style amp. Let's hear how it sounds without any adjustments. Sounds awesome. It's got that bender kind of sparkle and chime, but it's definitely missing something. So once again, this is where we'll want to start with the definition and then adjust the overall clarity. Without any adjustments. With adjustments. And honestly, 
honestly, I think that's a good starting place for this specific profile, but I still think it needs something else. And that's why we are not done yet. And this is part two of this, where I wanna show you the next section to dive into. We're still gonna be within the amplifier section, but now I wanna talk through the Kemper EQ, which is gonna be different than your traditional amps EQ. So let's talk about that. Now, within each of your profile, you're going to have four basic controls for your EQ. Now, of course, this is going to be different if you are using the liquid profiling. We're not talking about that today. However, if you want a future video on that, let me know and we can chat about it. In this case, what Kemper does with their EQ is it's adding a generic tone stack to this profile. And so where I typically start is from right to left and starting with the presence. And since this is already a very present amp, I'm not gonna make large adjustments to it. I want just enough to help it kind of push out in the mix, but where I'm gonna make my largest adjust adjustments is gonna be pulling back some of that bass frequency, pushing more of those middle frequencies and giving it that traditional kind of fender honk and adding a little bit more treble. So let's hear how that sounds. Obviously a very clean profile, but it sounds fantastic. Let's go back to that AC30 style where we've got a little bit more breakup. So once again, here is a bass reference for our tone. So let's go in and because this amp does need a little bit more presence, we're gonna add more presence. We're gonna add a little bit more treble as well. I don't really think we need much in the middle frequencies and we're actually gonna pull back that bass. Give it that natural scoop that you'd find in an AC30. And once again, we don't need to make huge sweeping adjustments. From what you can see, I've not done more than 0.4 on any of these. All right, so let's listen one more time. Hear how it sounds comparatively. <laughs> Go back without any adjustments. And hopefully you can see how much of a difference that makes when it comes to adjusting our specific profiles for our guitar. If you want more Kemper videos, tips, tricks, be sure to check out some of my videos right here. I will see you guys in the next video.